Well, they're, they're very special of you know, their work ethic and their leadership qualities that, that are, were employed this year. Um, being able to go undefeated, be the first senior-led team that, uh, in Chandler history that was 13-0, and obviously to, to win an Open Division Championship. We, I, I think all teams go as a senior class goes, and we're just lucky to have those, uh, this group with, uh, with us in 219. When you were addressing the crowd, you, you mentioned that you had to call Tate's dad to find out where he's going and just seemed kind of like a quiet guy going through the process, just kind of wanted to get his work done. How did he kind of instill that, that quiet leadership along the defense? You know, I always tell the kids, you know, we, we don't need cheerleaders, okay? There, there's different ways to lead. Lead by example, lead by work ethic, and that's definitely what, uh, you know, Tate brings to the table. And he's a very private kid, you know, and uh, we were just all really happy that, uh, you know, he's going to play with his brothers, you know, who. Who gets that opportunity? It's a that's a real good, real good choice for him. What sort of opportunity do you see for Nehemiah up at NAU? Not only playing potentially on the offensive line, but the defensive line as well. I think they're they're looking at him on the defensive side of the ball. I know they had some some holes there last year. It gives him an opportunity to come in and make an impact right away. And Coach Ball has done a great job with the recruiting of of Arizona kids. And uh, Nehemiah will be a really nice asset to, to Lumberjack football. He's just an incredible football player, but even more an incredible young man. Uh, he can play safety, he can play outside back, he can play inside back, he can rush off the edge. It's, it's a big weight off my chest, um, and I'm just really excited for the, ne the next couple of years. Um, I'm really excited to go to BYU. What was it about BYU that made them jump out to you? Um, it, honestly, it just feels like home up there at BYU. I, I, I love the coaches, I love the atmosphere, the academics are great. It's just, it's just a great fit for me personally. I'm really excited. What can I say about Nehemiah? You know, he's a three year starter on an offense that averages about 4,000 yards a year rushing. He uh, showed his leadership skills this year by taking control of some young kids next to him on the offensive line. NAU, why, why the Lumberjacks? Uh, when I took my visit up there, it was family. It just felt like family. And uh, the coaches, they want you to be a good football player, but they also want to build a good young man out of you and make a man of character. So I really, I really like that about them. And, and they're recruiting Arizona like crazy. They're bringing in quite a class. Just how excited are you to play with some of your opponents now turned teammates? Uh, it's going to be really fun because a lot of those guys, are we were rivals with them. And so it's going to be really fun to finally play, play on the same side of the ball with them and just have fun. How did Chandler set you up for the next level to, to make sure you're hitting the ground running once you get to Flagstaff? Uh, everything, everything here is a grind. I mean, we go through uh, spring ball, summer ball, winter weights. Everything we do is just grind. And we just put our head down and grind and don't talk about anything. Don't put anything on social media. We just do, do what we do.